Well, welcome to Huskies Hockey Insider Podcast. I'm, I'm, I'm smiling because uh, anytime I get a chance to talk to Kevin Fitzgerald, uh, it always brings me a little bit of joy. So, uh, Kevin Fitzgerald, oh, former you. St. Cloud State uh, forward, Kevin Fitzgerald is is my guest here. And uh, Kevin, how are you doing today? Where are you at here? I'm uh, doing well. I'm uh, I'm back home in uh, in De- or Clarendon Hills, Illinois, uh, suburb of Chicago. But uh, yeah, I just got back here like Monday afternoon. So uh, just hanging out. <laughs> yeah, well, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about, uh, you know, we were talking a little bit off uh, before we started recording here about uh, your travel schedule. <laughs> uh, you're playing in the, the Three Ice uh, League, which is a three-on-three league that has just started the, this season. Now, where, where all of you, you played here so far uh, through the season right now? Yeah, so we've had three weekends so far the first one was in las vegas um the second one in denver at magnus arena and um last weekend was in grand rapids michigan and on friday uh we're going to hershey pennsylvania so it's been oh. <laughs> it's been busy <laughs> <laughs> what's yeah. uh what's what's the response from like uh you know, you know obviously it's a, like you were saying it, it, it's a brand new league uh, it's a kind of an interesting format. Basically, they you guys play a three on. Th- well, if, if people are familiar with the NHL overtime format, uh, you know it's basically they they start out with three on three and a goalie. Uh, you know what, what's the response been like? I guess just in terms of you know people coming to the games and and what what people you know how many people have been there and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's been good. Um, it's been really fun. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty tiring when we get out there. We're actually playing, but. Um, so far, I mean, uh, Seamus Donahue has been doing it as well. Um, so it's awesome just, like, hanging out with him every weekend. Um, but it's been, like, a really fun experience. It's been really cool. Uh, we didn't really know what to expect going into it. Um, as we talked, like, last podcast, we, we kind of thought it, it was uh, Minx and Brian pranking us. But it turns out it's totally real. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but, no, it's been, it's been so much fun. It's been so much fun so far. Uh, the hockey itself is really fun, too. Yeah. Six teams in the league now. Okay. So now you like this weekend. So you're, you're heading off to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Now will all six teams be there then? Yeah. So it's like every, so we play Saturday night and um, it's like a tournament. So every time we play, it's like a tournament. So there's two eight minute running halves for every game. And so the first round, all six teams will play. So there'll be three games in the first round. If you win, you move on to the semifinals, but if you're, so that's three teams automatically advance. You need a fourth team for the semifinals. So it's the team that score the, the losing team that scores the most goals uh, advances to the second round. That actually ended up happening with us the first week, and we lost our first game, but we scored the most goals of all the losers. So we uh, went to the sec- semifinals. So then from there, they play semifinals and then championships. So it's there's about, well, let's see, three, four, five, six games a night, and then um, each game is eight minute, two eight minute run and a half. So it takes about three hours, three and a half hours, maybe. Um, but no, it's it's like pretty exciting. I um, I know like we talked about earlier. There's been like some rule changes and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's really fun for us to play in, and uh, it is very tiring, but it's, but it's really fun. Right, because uh, because what six you have six six skaters that that dress every for every game. Then is that am I reading that right? Yeah, yeah. So they've got so six guys and a goalie per team, and then there's like a ta- like taxi squad. So in case anybody gets hurt or can't make it, um, those guys travel every weekend. So, um, like, they could be put into the game. Um, they can't be – so, if someone gets hurt, they can't get put into that game, but they can play in the next game, I think. So, so if, if you guys were to lose somebody or, or have somebody go down with an injury, you'd be shorthanded then, right? I mean, you'd, you'd have to play yeah. with five? Yeah, you'd have to play with five. And um, hopefully, knock on wood, that doesn't happen because playing with six <laughs> is hard enough already. <laughs> uh, now, you know, just, in, you know, having watched a lot of three-on-three hockey, I mean – to me, it seems like it would be really free form and a lot of skating and not real, not real physical, but you tell me what, what it's like, I guess, in, in terms of watching it. Yeah, no, it's not physical at all, except for when Seamus is out there. Um, you're not, you're not allowed to hit, but um, some guys break the rules like Seamus. Um, I'm just kidding, but not really, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so no, there's no checking at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's super fun. Like, the one thing that I thought, like the only, not hesitation, but the one thing I thought, like, 
oh, I hope like it doesn't get into like a possession game where people will just circle back and like play to the goalie and change. Cause like, you know, that and like three on three where if you don't have, if you don't get the puck off the face off, like you couldn't like not touch the puck, you know, yeah. um, until someone scores. But yeah, they put in a rule that once you get in the offensive zone, you can't bring it back past uh, center ice. So okay. it's, it's really similar to the basketball, like over and back rule. And um I didn't really know how that would work at first, but it really speeds the game up. So it's, it's honestly just back and forth the whole time, um, which contributes to the, the tiring aspect of it. But uh, no, it's fun. Like goalies can play the puck wherever. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, if you score. Yeah. It's actually a lot of different rules. Now that I think about it, if you score no face off, the goalie pulls it out, you wait for like 10 seconds, then you play it. Um, if the goalie covers it, you have to like back off uh, like the offensive team, the team in the offensive zone has to like back off. There's like a little arc, like a three point line almost. They have to like back up behind that. Um, but yeah, they really put some thought into to all the rules and everything. And I mean, I think it's I think it's so much fun to play in. Yeah, and I, I and I've heard uh, icing right. If if you ice the puck, yeah, that that you get what because uh, there's no there's no penalties, right? You just go right to a yeah. Uh, somebody goes and and, and uh, well, you tell me what happens. I guess if if icing yeah. happens or a penalty. It's kind of like um, those like junior hockey main camps, which um, I was a veteran of, went to a lot of those, um, didn't make a lot of a whole lot of teams. But um, it's kind of like those where the, you go from center ice and it's like a like a penalty shot, but everyone's chasing you. Um, so that's on the penalties. And also if it's like an intentional icing, um, like if you try to make a play, uh, try to pass to a guy like hops over a stick or something and it's icing. Um, they'll wave it off and we'll play it. But it's kind of like up to the ref's discretion. Um, another thing that's interesting is that there's an on ice cameraman and um i like ran into him one game and i was like come on man and then i like after i was like apologized i'm like hey i'm sorry like you're just you're like you're, you're literally like have the hardest job ever you have to skate all game and try to film like on the camp like film with the camera um but i can at least go back to the bench and like drink some water he's skating around all game trying to stay out of the way um but no i mean it's awesome all the people involved are like really like good people too. Like when it comes to like the broadcast team or the people who like are r- running it, all the coaches are incredible. Um, like NHL hall of famers, just like some really good people too. And then the players as well. Um, the guys on my team have been great. Um, it's a good mix of like older guys and younger guys. Um, I mean, I'm not exactly young, but I would say I'm one of the younger guys, but uh, no, it's a good mix. And it's, it's really a like really fun time after the games. So everyone kind of gets together and, um, you know, does whatever kind of hangs out. So it's, it's been a blast. Yeah. Uh, Joe Mullen is, is, is your, your coach, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's my coach. And then his son Patrick's on our team. Um, and then a couple other, um, a couple other guys like Boston area. I'm trying to think Pittsburgh area. Um, yeah. A lot of guys from the Northeast on our team, but uh, yeah, no, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Really good guys. Really good group. So, so uh, you, you said you guys kind of get together, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to imagine this. If, if the coaches are all there, it's like Brian Trottier, Joe Mullen, Grant Fuhrer. I mean, you're <laughs> John LeClaire. I mean, we're, we're talking some pretty darn big names. I, I would imagine for a, a hockey guy like yourself, that, that has to be fun just to talk to yeah. those guys a little bit. Just like the names involved are incredible. Like you said, like Joe Mullen, uh, Grant Fuhr, Seamus Donahue, John LeClaire, like just some really big names. <laughs> um, no, but they're right. Like I remember skiing over to Seamus and Morgan skating. Like, can you believe who we're on the ice with right now? Because we've got like a pregame skate on Saturday. And um, like they'll run, like the coaches will run the skate. And like, I actually, I think it was one of my teammates went over. I was like, can you believe like we're on the ice with these guys right now? Like it's, it's, it's really cool. And they're all like super nice guys. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like, such a crazy experience. It's such a cool experience. Yeah, uh, uh, Seamus. So uh, you, you you bringing up Seamus? Seamus is, is playing on, <laughs> on on Team Fuhr and uh, another former St. Cloud State player, uh, Ryan Malone, on that team. Of uh, have you now? Have you guys uh, faced off against each other a couple times or, or not? Yeah, yeah, we played them. We played them twice in Denver. Um, but yeah, I'm like amazed. Like Ryan. Well, I'm not amazed because like he's like really good player in the NHL but like how like strong he is and like strong on a stick and how like such a good skater like he still is I think we're like in front of the net and we're like kind of like joking around like like battling I guess 
And I was just like, after I was like, man, like that guy is huge. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's awesome being around him, like in the locker room and stuff and just around the rink. Um, yeah. He's obviously like a great guy that, um, you know, everyone talks about that, but uh, yeah, no, it's been, it's been super fun. It's awesome. Just being with Seamus. <laughs> like we, uh, I know I've given him some grief on here, but Seamus is one of my best buddies. Uh, it's been awesome. Just kind of, um, you know, after, after our season St. Cloud going down to Charleston with him, then going out, um, to Vegas for tryouts and then, you know, doing this with them every weekend. So yeah, it's, it's been a blast. Uh, if I remember correctly from, from talking with you the last time, uh, basically you guys get a base salary and then however the tournaments turn out, right. You guys can get basically some bonus money for how, how the team does. Am I right there, Kevin? Or Yeah. Yeah. So the taxi squad guys, um, they get like, a the same they get like an amount for coming every weekend and then if you finish uh fourth place through sixth place you get um like there's like a base amount and then finishing third place is a little bit higher fourth place or i'm sorry third place is a little bit higher second place is a little bit higher than um first place is the highest amount so yeah it's been really cool um yeah it's been it's been cool to like make money to play hockey which is crazy i didn't think anybody would ever pay me to play hockey <laughs> um but yeah no it's it's been it's been good <laughs> well and, and and now you've if you you turn around and you, you look at the league leaders who's leading this league in goals by the way um i'm not sure um you <laughs> are <laughs> i think I'm, i think i'm actually tied now i think there's there's a tie for first but um yeah no i mean i've, I've played the most game our team's played the most games and um yeah, like my teammates are super good. Uh, but yeah, I, I've got like maybe two assists. I think it says so. I need to I need to move the puck a little bit more. <laughs> well, well, if you're sticking in the back of the net, though, I mean, do you really need to pass it that much more? Yeah, I'm playing defense too. It's just, I mean, I'm not really playing defense, but my position is defense, <laughs> but, <laughs> which is something new. <laughs> So now the, uh, I saw something on, on the website now. Is, is there a gold helmet for the guy that's leading? Now, are, are you leading if, if, the, if you're leading the league in goals or points or how does that work? Yeah, it's goals. And I had to wear the gold helmet last weekend. Uh, kind of, I don't want to say jinx me. I had a really bad weekend last weekend. But um, yeah, now that I'm now that there's a tie, I don't know what they're going to do. Hopefully I don't have to wear it next weekend um not a real big fan of the gold helmet uh but no it's cool it's like a little like cool little thing uh they do it's kind of like european i guess um but yeah i just kind of want to wear my normal black helmet <laughs> you, you just worried because there's a target on you then with the gold or what? Uh, yeah i mean i'm ugly enough i don't need to draw any attention to myself <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you talk a little bit about uh about european hockey and speaking of european hockey that's that's where you're headed here uh in in, in the fall uh, i i saw that uh well tell everybody where you where you've signed and where you're going to be playing here this, this next season yeah uh signed in finland um uh, the team's called saipa and um it's in liga in finland um the town is lapinranta i think i'm saying that right i don't know i'm <laughs> had to consult with Yami and VD a couple of times, <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, I'm super excited. Uh, my girlfriend Hallie's coming with me. Um, so I think it should be, you know, really good experience. Um, you know, good hockey over there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just really excited. Uh, like I said earlier, I never thought anybody would pay me to play hockey. So, uh, it's kind of crazy, but. So now is it, is that the top league in Finland that you're playing in or? Uh, yeah. Okay. How uh, you know, how, how did you kind of make that the decision, I guess, to, to head overseas? Because, you know, you, you had a, you, you finished up the season with in the ECHL with South Carolina, you and Seamus both played there. And then you, you, you also uh, got called up to, to play, well, to, to be on the, the roster here, there with Hershey. Uh, what, what made you decide to, to head over to Europe? What all went into that? Yeah, it was a big decision. Um, I mean, I've never been to Europe, so like <laughs> that right there was a pretty big decision. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just thought about it for a while. I thought, um, like hockey wise, will be the best for for my like my career, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, but uh, yeah, then I just thought, like personally, I thought it'd be a really cool experience. And I mean, I don't know. Like I, I really, so I've deferred my position with KPMG, the accounting firm, for 
couple of years now. And I talked to them. That was the first call I made. And I was just kind of like, what do you guys think um, about me, like, trying to play professional hockey? And I thought they were going to be like, all right, come on, kid. Like, wrap it up here. Mm-hmm. But they were great. They said, um, I mean, it's just – it's such a great company. I'm so excited to join them um, eventually. But they were just saying, like, this is – that's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime – opportunity and you should, you should you should take it if you, if you know you have that chance and play as long as you want to play and you can always work um so when i heard that from them and that's kind of what a lot of people have been telling me but when i heard that from them it was like okay like now really there's no reason not to keep playing and then when i thought about where to keep playing um yeah i um i i don't know i just was like i thought this would be a great experience um you know to see the world play good hockey over there um and I, I don't know, I think that one's a really, really nice country, really cool country from what, from what I've heard from Yami and VD, so they're a little biased, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, I am really excited to go to Finland. Yeah, what, what, what have they told, you know, I, I would imagine you had a couple conversations with them. They've obviously seen that, that league, you know, you know, seen games in, the, in that league. What have they told you or what, what, are you, what have you heard, I guess, about the, the play over there? Yeah, they said, they told me my style of play, um, you know, it would, would translate well to that league. So I don't know if it's just a bunch of guys who can't skate and take face-offs. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, they said, uh, I don't know. They said they thought I would do well in that league and, um, you know, hopefully not on what I do, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, they, they were just kind of, they were really excited for me. Uh, they said the town's really good. It's kind of a smaller town um, in Finland, but they said it's, you know, really nice. Um one thing they did warn me about is that it gets pretty dark over there. So, yeah, bring lots of vitamin D and stuff. So, but no, I'm I'm super excited for the experience. Well, now have you picked up any finish from those guys over, over the last few years or not? Um, not any words I can say in public, but yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, you know, what, what are things, I guess, uh, you know, that, that they've heard, I guess, just about the style of play and stuff over there? Uh, you know, have you heard did they talk a little bit about that? You know, is it is it offensive minded? Is it defensive minded? Uh, you know, what, the, the amount of ice it is, is out there for you. I mean, what, what have they shared with you about that? Yeah, so I've, I've heard just kind of like European hockey in general is a little bit more free flowing, but um, just things I've gathered from not only talking to those guys, but just guys um throughout three ice that have played like over in in um that league and in finland they said it's a little bit more defensive league um where like not as much space as some of the some of the um you know places over in europe so in my mind i'm kind of thinking it's going to be maybe a little bit similar to college where it's fast kind of free flowing but a little bit defensive at the same time um but no i mean i'm sure i'll find out when i get over there you know what it's really about how when, when do you head over there then um I think early August, late, late July. So pretty soon. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to get over there and kind of get started for sure. <laughs> what, uh, so, so what's your schedule, you know, g- g- take us through, a, you know, a typical week now here, now that you're, you know, about a month into this season, right? I mean, are, you know, are you working out during the week? Do you pull back on your workouts? You know, because <laughs> obviously uh, on the weekends now you're skating pretty hard. Uh, you know, what, what, what's your week's been like? Um, kind of nuts, but, um, just with all the travel. So I, I've actually spent, um, the summer up until this past week, I was at my girlfriend Hallie's, um, place in Brookings, South Dakota, and I've been training down Sioux Falls with, with Noel Walker. Um, so normally I'll, ever since it started Mondays, I'll kind of stay in, I was staying in Brookings, um, and just working out, not skating. Tuesday I'd go to Sioux, Sioux Falls, um, where we kind of me and walks would would coach for uh noel needham she runs uh the like legends hockey camp so we we coach for a couple sessions and we go work out and then we'd have our own skates at night so i'd do that tuesday wednesday thursday um so on the ice and working out tuesday wednesday thursday and then friday would be when i when i would fly out and <laughs> that's just kind of playing it by ear I, I you know try to work out like i think in denver i got there went on like a run and then worked out a little bit um and then saturday i'm just on the ice in the morning for the morning skate and then playing Sunday, I normally take off. And then Monday I um, start back up again where I probably don't probably won't skate on Monday, but, it, but work out. So I try to work out at least um, Monday through Friday and then skating Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. So it's been good. Like this week I'm at home um, next week. So I'll be at home where I'll 
I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll skate as much, but um, definitely try to work out every day. Yeah. Uh, so, so uh, you know, with, with these actually, you know, with these competitive games, obviously, I mean, you, you've been on the, you're on the ice a lot during the off season in previous seasons, but you know, with actual competitive <laughs> things going on, on on the weekend, do you feel like uh, you're, you're in a little bit better shape than, than you have been, or is it just a little bit different shape just because maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe you're not uh, doing as what much weightlifting and, and working out off the, you know, off the ice or, or what's your conditioning, but like, do you feel like right now? Uh, yeah, definitely. I've heard some stories about the training camps in Finland. So I've just tried to, been, try to get in best shape as possible. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's a little bit different this summer. Cause like you said, I am like playing in like games, I guess on Saturday, but I try to like, maintain like the same summer like workouts where i work out the same uh amount of times but just adding in more skating and more um like on ice conditioning and stuff and i don't know like i'm not the type to ever get i don't think i've ever gotten like sick of hockey so i'm not like really afraid of like skating too much or anything i know some guys like <laughs> remember will hammer is fam- famous for taking like a while off of skating in the summer um and stuff but honestly like i i think i could skate every every day and i don't think i would really get sick of it but um but yeah i think i'm just just trying to get in shape lay off the hot dogs this summer so, so i could be in shape for training camp yeah I mean, you know have, have, have you changed up uh you know some stuff diet wise you know just because because of the 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 games here now that you're going through or yeah kind of just trying to eat less junk food and for anybody who knows me it's very hard <laughs> but uh no i'm just kidding. no i'm actually not kidding but uh yeah no i just trying to eat trying to you know just be healthy and try to be in the best shape i can um for training camp uh let's talk a little bit more about the about three ice because there, there there's a few other rules that i wanted to touch base with you about they said the goalies can play the puck anywhere on the ice now have you seen have you been in any games i guess where the goalie is like way the heck out and he's he's playing the puck or not um not really there was actually one instance last weekend where that was when there i was wa- where i was watching where they went they, they like pulled the goalie and the goalie was skating the bench and the skater hadn't come on yet and like the, i think the goalie like forgot he couldn't play because like he let it go by and then like they ended up getting like a breakaway with an open net but um the goalies are like super involved in playing the puck so like if they make it safe Sometimes a guy will like sprint down the ice and the goalie will just like loft it out there um, for a quick breakaway. So um, yeah, they've been like super involved. The goalies are all like really good and they're really good at playing the puck too. So it's, it's, it's super fun. It's sometimes like a fourth or like a defenseman back there. How many, how many, how many referees are on the ice then for this? That's a good question. I think, I don't even know. One, maybe two. The ca- there's a ca- I know there's a cameraman. There's an on-ice cameraman. I was kind of a jerk to him. I yelled. Uh, yeah, no, I do apologize. Like I said earlier, but uh, no, I think there's only one. I know there's one in the box, but I think there's only one rep on the ice. I could be wrong though. Uh, one, one of the other unique rules is if the puck comes off the netting, right? So you got the netting up around the back of the net and stuff uh, that, that the puck stays in play, right? So there's. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the good old St. Cloud state summer hockey um where your puck goes off the netting you just play it like don't worry about it play it um so yeah that's fun i'm trying to think what other rules there are i don't know nothing too crazy i mean besides the ones I already mentioned but yeah that's all i can really think of that are different so uh so you get an eight minute half uh how much time do you have in between the the the, the halves and is it, is it just like a, a two minute break or how, how long will yeah. they give you it's like I think it's a three minute break. Okay. So um yeah, it's like if you're sitting on the bench when the buzzer sounds and then you get the three minute break, you're fine. But if you're on the ice and then the buzzer sounds and there's the three minute break, sometimes it's not enough. So <laughs> but no, it's 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 a lot of fun. It's just it's really like a really good workout too. So mm-hmm. so you know. okay, so here you go. So you let's say that your team plays the first game, right? Uh then there's there's two games right after you. Right, uh, like on a mm-hmm. Saturday. Uh, so, so you've got got that first game. What what, what do you do then in between? <laughs> because you're going to be playing later on, right? That night, your second game. Um. So 
that actually happened last week in Grand Rapids. I actually had a bunch of my parents are both from Grand Rapids, um, Michigan. So I had like my godfather came out, um, which is like my dad's like best friend. Um, and then his family came out. So then I, uh, after the first game, I just got undressed and went to the stands and watched with them and then went down and got dressed for the second game. Um, but yeah, normally I'll just kind of like get undressed, hang out, maybe watch a game or something, or I don't know, like stretch out or something, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of, have a try to hope the time passes fast so <laughs> so when, will they resurface at any point then will they resurface after the first round of, of games then, or how does that work i think they research i don't know no i think they resurface after every round but okay. they give like a dry scrape with shovels after every after every game okay well, it's just an interesting dynamic, right? I mean, because it's uh, it, it's not like, uh, you know, after every period where you're getting new ice and, you know, 15 minutes mm-hmm. in between. And and so I, I was just curious as to <laughs> how that goes for for uh, the amount of time that you, you, you've got and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I need to pay attention more. I don't really know the answer to some of these. <laughs> What, uh, are your parents enjoy? So you mentioned your parents were up in Grand Rapids. Uh, were, were they they enjoy, I guess, uh, getting out and seeing you play. Have they been at uh, other games, or were those kind of the first ones? Uh, those are the first ones, but uh, they watch every every weekend on on TV. It's on like CBS Sports in the United States. So um, yeah, my my dad loves it. He, he he texted me one morning. He's like. I watched it again this morning. Like, awesome. It was so much fun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, so they'll watch. And then my girlfriend, her family, they always have a big watch party. Uh, my girlfriend's grandpa, like, <laughs> loves it, too. So, um, yeah, no, it's been it's been uh, really fun. Just kind of like the support from them, too. What's the fan, you know, what's the fan turnout been like? You Are there a few thousand people in the at, at the games? Or, or what, what, what's that been like? Uh, yeah, I, I don't say. I think in Vegas it was it was pretty good. It was more than I expected. Denver, there were like the Stanley Cup Finals going on um, mm-hmm. at the same time, and um, you know about those DU crowds. So <laughs> I'm just kidding, but uh, a lot of, not not that many people there. But um, it was better in Grand Rapids. Uh, there's there's a good amount of people there. So yeah, I mean that always makes it fun and exciting. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, you know, like with St. Cloud State, now every now and again they'll have autograph sessions and different things like that. Uh, anything like that that you're having to do with the with this league or not? Um, no, just like some like media stuff, like over the phone sometimes, like sometimes, but uh, no, nothing like in person or anything. Well, awesome. Well, Kevin, uh, awesome to, to catch up with you. Great, great to hear that uh, you're enjoying playing in the league so much. And congratulations again on uh, on the new contract uh, to go over and play in Finland here this coming fall. Yeah, thanks so much, Mick. It was great talking to you. Always is. All right. This has been the Huskies Hockey Insider Podcast and Mick Hatton from, from the Rink Live. And please check out all of our great content here on our website.